Hey, our friends, today we're gonna draw elephant fruit. Yeah, elephant fruit is the new power up in the new video game, Super Mario Brothers Wonder. Yep. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need your drawing supplies. We're using markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, you're ready to start? Yes. We're also using our marker paper because we're drawing and coloring with markers. This helps our markers last a lot longer. So if you're using markers, you might wanna also consider getting some of that paper. It works better than regular printer paper. Let's start by drawing the outside, the main outside shape of the fruit. And it looks like an apple. So we want to leave enough room for the ears, though, on the left and right side. Yeah. And we're going to try to draw a circle, but we also want to leave the top of the circle open to draw the little part that comes down. So I'll draw it first. We're going to start here. I'm going to draw it coming around. Whoa. And we're going to come back up. Like, we're going to connect, but we want to leave that, that little space. Oh, I love how big you're drawing yours. The next time we draw elephant fruit, I'm going to draw it the same size as you. <laughs> okay, now in between, we're going to draw a little curve that comes down, up, and then connect to the other side. I probably went a little too far down, but that's okay, right? No yeah. mistakes. Nope. The most important thing is to have fun and to practice. Practice. Remember to have fun and practice. Okay, let's keep going. Now let's draw the stem. We're going to draw it coming out of the top of our little apple fruit elephant fruit. We're going to draw a curve like this and another curve right next to it. I'm going to draw it a little further. There we go. And then at the top, we're going to draw a squished oval shape to connect those two lines together. Then let's draw the leaf coming out to the side. Let's draw the middle first. We'll draw it curving up to the left. And then right here at the top, we're going to draw or at the end, we're going to draw a curve coming back in and then connecting. And we can repeat that same curve for the top. And let's also make it look 3D by adding another curve just underneath. Yeah, there we go. Now let's draw the trunk for our elephant, <laughs> for the fruit. We're gonna draw an upside down U shape. We're gonna start right about here. We'll come up and then down. And then right here, we're going to draw a little curve that comes around like this. We're going to come back and connect. It looks like a raindrop shape. And then we're going to draw the other side of the trunk. We're going to come down really far, almost to the very bottom of our fruit. We're going to curve around and we'll stop about there. And then we're going to draw the end of the trunk curving out around and then we kind of come down like we did for the top of our fruit and then we're going to connect in to finish the trunk. Yeah. Okay, now let's draw the eyes. We're going to draw an oval shape right over the trunk and part of it is connected or behind the trunk and then we can draw another oval shape to match for the other eye. And at the very top, let's add a little circle on each eye and then color in the big oval, but leave those little circles white. Now we're ready to draw the ears. Let's draw a curve coming out to the left, and then we're gonna curve down about that far, and then we're gonna draw that same curve on the other side to match. Yeah, and then right here at the end, we'll draw a curve coming back up, and then we're gonna draw another one coming down again. And then let's repeat that same curve up and back down. We did it, Jack. We finished drawing our elephant fruit, except we're not completely done. We still need to color it. Yeah, this part will fast forward. So remember to pause the video at the end to match our same coloring. You ready to speed things up? Yes. Jack. 
Jack, we did it. We finished drawing and coloring our elephant fruit and it looks so much better all colored in. And we also added extra things like highlights with our white colored pencil and even used a darker red to add some shading. You can pause the video right now to match your same coloring. Yeah, and you could use markers like we did or you could use something completely different like colored pencils or even crayons. If you have our same Art for Kids Hub markers, we used 11 red for the top and we also added this little design on the cheeks so that the bottom could be a different color that's lighter 25. It's kind of a pink color. Yeah, and then we use 59 green for the stem and leaf. We hope you had a lot of fun drawing the elephant fruit. Yeah, we do. We hope you had a lot of fun. This is a really cool game, isn't it? Yeah. We're going to have to draw more stuff. Yes, we do. Maybe even Mario as an elephant. That would be really fun. Or Peach. I like Peach <laughs> as an elephant, too. Yeah. <laughs> we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.